Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. I want to thank God this morning. I want to thank God this day. Uh, for he has gathered us here to hear his word. I want to uh, be grateful in my heart for even uh, God have, uh, having given me this chance to come before you and share the word of God with you today. Let's bow our heads and pray. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are grateful that we have been found once again in your house. We have been once again found in your presence, Lord, to hear your word. My Father and my God, may you open our hearts, O oh Lord, our minds in the name of Jesus, that as your word comes through, Lord, it shall benefit us. It shall sprout, it shall grow, it shall multiply in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Father, I present myself as a vessel to be used by you. We thank you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank God because it's another good time that the Lord has found it worth for us to sit in his presence and hear the word, uh, the word of God today. I know this year has been long for us. It has been a time of challenge, been things coming our way, but we want to thank God because this far he has sustained us. This far he has given us strength to be in his presence. I want to thank God because also it has come a time of the year that we give thanks to God. It has come to a, a time uh, in our calendar as a church that we give thanks to God. It's our thanksgiving day. We want to thank God because he's going to prepare us through his word to know how to give thanks to God. And therefore, I welcome every one of us. My name is uh, Pastor Moret Nyaga. I want to thank God because all through he has been, it has been well with me. The Lord has kept me well. He has saved me. His grace is sufficient over my life. So praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, I want to welcome us so that we can read the word of God. In Psalms 50 verse 14, uh, the word of God says, Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High. I, re I repeat again. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High. And then one of my favorite verses. I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. And then Psalm 116, 17, the Bible says, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and I will call on the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. As the year draws to a cross, everyone is, is saying, Lord, we are so thankful for all what you have done to us. Thanksgiving is mainly given after one accomplishes a huge event in life. Into us, every end of the year is giving thanks to God. Once we win battles, we want to thank God. Once we accomplish something, we want to give thanks to God. And it has come a time that we, we, we as a church, we need to sit down and say, we thank God for what he has done. Regardless of how the year has been, regardless of how the, 20, uh, the year 2020 has been, even with the COVID-19 pandemic, it is a time that we need to sit down, as the psalmist says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and its cause with praise. That is Psalm 100 and verse 4. This climaxes as we go on in, in thanksgiving and in, this, in the sense in our cultural practice is that as the year comes to a, to a close, this clim climax is in vigils, in keshas. Uh, that first December, whereby we see everyone dragging himself or coming just to collapse in church so that the Sasita Yueze Kupita Kiwa Pale Kanisani. But to us, who are faith, we have been called to something different. Praise the name of the Lord. Us, who know where, how we serve our God, or how we are supposed to, to, to serve our God, it is not only about ke keshas and kuvuka mwaka. There is nothing wrong, of course, with coming at the end of the year and uh, with all manner of pomp and, and color and thanking God. But we need to do more and we need to offer thanksgiving to God, not only for that particular time, but we also need to set ourselves as 
thanks living to God. Praise the name of the Lord. I hope you got that. We need to set ourselves not only for thanksgiving, but thanks living. We need to live as symbols, as apparatus that are continuously giving thanks to God. It is not should be just a moment. It should not be an event. It needs to be continuous. And I want to thank God because the word of God is going to show us this. So how do we do that? The psalmist offers a good first step for us. In Psalms 107, 21 to 22, uh, 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 the Psalm 107, 21 to 22, the Bible says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and declare his works with rejoicing. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, thanksgiving in our concept should be a day-to-day -day affair. Praise the name of the Lord. When we commit ourselves to do the work of God, we are already giving thanks to God. Therefore, uh, uh, what are the sacrifices of thanksgiving? So if we are to live continually as thanks living, then what are sacrifices of thanksgiving that we should offer to God? In God's words, there are, there are five spiritual sacrifices that we need to be offering continually. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not only for a thanksgiving day, but continually we have five spiritual sacrifices we can offer in this month, even on the coming month, that is our thanksgiving month, and the rest of our life as unto the Lord. You might want to make a little checklist and put it uh, 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 down so that you can, you can see if you are thanks living. Remember that word we, we talked about. It should not only be thanksgiving, but thanks living. When we live, we are living as apparatus that are continually giving thanks to God. And, and the Bible says, I am, I am continually offering to the Lord the sacrifices of thanksgiving. That should be your, 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 running, your, your, your running model or your running statement. That I am continually offering to the Lord the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And here are the five possible ways you can do this. And the sacrifice number one that you can do is offer your person to God. Praise the name of the Lord. You offer yourself as a person. In Romans 12, 1 to 2, it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, this is your true and proper worship. Praise the name of the Lord. So, our sacrifice number one, in, under the categories of the five spiritual uh, 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 sacrifices that we can offer, is we offer our person to God. Then why should I give my body to him? Why should I give my all to him? Jesus Christ gave himself for us first. That's a straight answer. Why should you give yourself to him? He did that even before you knew him. Because he gave his body for me, how small is my sacrifice when his was so great? He has given a very great sacrifice, a sacrifice of love. And we give back by submitting ourselves, our persons to the work of God. We are supposed to die because a sacrifice, once a sacrifice is given, it is offered. Praise the name of the Lord. We, you, uh, uh, when you offer the sacrifice at the, at, at the altar, it is supposed to die. It's supposed to be to give itself only for the use of its master. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, we should not be having brothers and sisters walking sacrifices, whereby you are submitting yourself to the altar and then you are running away as a sacrifice. We need to be careful of that. Because uh, the, uh, there are three ways that we can present ourselves as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Number one is we need to do it voluntarily. It should not be coercion. When we are called to, to, to work, when we are called uh, a person to, to give ourselves sacrificially, it should be, number one, voluntarily. Number two, completely. When we are given to the work of the Lord, let's give ourselves completely. No reservations. 
when we are we are when 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 we say we are doing something for the lord let it be complete hakuna kusukumwa and then number number three, committedly once we pick something we must do it with commitment praise the name of the lord and this is where i was saying no jumping off the altar when a sacrifice has been given unto what uh, to the altar it waits until it is fully consumed by the fire that is that, that was traditionally burning the sacrifice praise the name of the lord when the priest sacrificed animals to god in the old testament they bound the animal to the altar and they used to use two fresh hooks so the sacrifice inafungiwa pale ili sija ikatoroka so the same way when you give our person as a as a as a spiritual sacrifice therefore to kai pale with devotion and discipline with all our love for Jesus to commit ourselves to do that work praise the name of the lord therefore sacrifice number one, we are sacrificing our person and then number two is the sacrifice of your praise praise the name of the lord in hebrews 13:15 it says through jesus therefore let us continually offer to god a sacrifice of praise the fruits of our lips that openly profess his name bwana yesu asifiwe so we give a sacrifice of praise brothers and sisters it is not only in our communion worship on sunday service be an instrument that is continually giving god praise as you work as you drive that matatu as you do that mujengo lift the name of jesus high be a symbol of praise be an instrument that is continually giving the presence and the glory of god all the glory that it is deserves bwana yesu asifiwe and that's why the the, the psalmist says in psalm 34:1 i'll bless the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth bwana yesu asifiwe therefore we are to offer praise continually praise to god doesn't commence at the sunday worship in the church building instead it continues here so when we come here on sunday we are not coming to begin our praise and worship it should be an extension and that's why our, our sunday services may be may be lacking the power that is goes with it because if throughout the week we were prepared to offer a sacrifice of praise then a sunday service is just the climax bwana yesu asifiwe therefore it should be continue it should be continuous instead it continues in our sunday services each day we should live in continual attitude of praise wacha tukamtukuze mungu kwa kila jambo tunalofanya na watu wakaone kwamba mungu anatukuka kwa kila kwa kila kitu tunafanya bwana yesu asifiwe ikawa kwamba ni tumejitoa kwake the sacrifice of person and now the sacrifice of praise to our god nobody hot to beg us to praise or to sing to the lord brothers and sisters it is a sin when the praise and worship leader has to tell us sasa tumwabudu bwana it should be spontaneous si lazima tugoje mtu wa keyboard aweke rhythm ile tunaenda nayo ili tuweze kumtukuza mungu we are being told that it should be continuous it should come from our hearts and this is how we are supposed to set ourselves so that it can be a sacrifice of praise in some 119:108 says accept I, be- I i beseech thee the free will offering of my mouth praise the name of the lord oh that god would help us to offer him the sacrifice of our mouth the sacrifice of praise lifting his name high when we come before his presence that his name be glorified praise the name of the lord and then number three, the sacrifice of our prayer if there is anything that is killing the 21st century church is the church prayerlessness brothers and sisters i come to urge you that if there is a sacrifice that we can continually offer to god is the sacrifice of prayer remember daniel committed himself and i want to thank god uh, because of the preachers that have, have gone ahead of us he committed himself to prayer 
even with the king's decree, he still prayed. And I want to thank God because a lot of breakthroughs came through Daniel. Even the, uh, the prophecies of, of the latter church. Because he was a man who, who was committed to prayer. And a prayer to him was a sacrifice. In Psalms, in Psalm 141.2, I, I will paraphrase. Throughout the Old Testament, we learn that the smoke coming from the sacrifices was a sweet savour unto the Lord. These aromas emanated from the great altar of brass in the outer court of the Old Testament tabernacle. That was the Old Testament uh, uh, tabernacle setting. Upon that altar, it burned a fire kindled from heaven, which was a picture of the holy wrath of God against sin. So the animals were burnt upon the altar where a prophetic picture of Jesus' sacrificial death was demonstrated. Praise the name of the Lord. So, the deepest longing of our hearts are met in the Holy of Holies of our Lord. When we submit ourselves to the Holy of Holies to pray, that is where our needs are met. But to enjoy this sweet communion, we must first come to the brazen altar of sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Lazima dabiu yetu itutangulie. Tunapoenda katika maombi. Then to the golden altar of prayer. So before we, we, we submit ourselves to prayer, our sacrifice, we should be a sacrifice ourselves. And we say there is a sacrifice of person. Number two, there is a sacrifice of praise. Number three, now we are having the sacrifice of prayer. So before we submit ourselves to, 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 uh, uh, to the brazen altar uh, of or the, to the golden altar of prayer, we must submit ourselves first of all to, to, the, to, the, to the altar of sacrifice. Then, the prayer, our prayer should be based on the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ. We should be totally having surrendered ourselves to Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. That is when our prayers will be heard. Because we will have committed ourselves through the, the, the sacrificial blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, Sacrifice of your prayer. And as, as we have said, the brazen altar of sacrifice uh, precedes the golden altar of prayer, which was the holy of holies. Number four, the sacrifice of your possession. Praise the name of the Lord. But to do good and to, com to communicate, forget not, but for which such sacrifice God is well priest. This is Hebrews 13, 16. To communicate is more than just talking. It means giving back to God as a, script, as a spiritual sacrifice the material possession that he has given us. Praise the name of the Lord. So first of all, to mejitoa, to metoa the biu ya vinyo vietu, to metoa the biu ya meo yetu ambao ni maombi. Ambao inapaswa kututangulia. And then number three, to, to uh, the, then um, uh, then the sacrifice of our position should come now. Praise the name of the Lord. Therefore, uh, in Proverbs 3, 9, it says, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of thy increase. So as we come to give thanks to God, we are coming with our possessions. And when we are coming with our possessions, we are not coming that God needs them. It is in the increase that he has given us. Praise the name of the Lord. Honor the Lord your God with a substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. So we are coming to him because he has given us. And in return we are giving back to him. God does not want a place in our life. He even he doesn't want the first place that we commonly say. He doesn't even want the priority. The creator of the universe is so far beyond that. God is outside and above these realms. To see letters and Daka to Kaone Sasa upon your to Mewezea Mungu, he is above that. Anything within us and in us has been made by God. Therefore, there is nothing big that you can bring into the house of God. He himself is bigger than that. He cannot be compared. You are not in the same realm. Therefore, when you bring something to God, my brother and sister, ask. Does this thing demonstrate God pre preeminence? Ile kitu unaleta mbele ya Mungu. 
kama dhabiu as a substance that's what you say the sacrifice of possessions the substance is that he has given out of increase and does that thing demonstrate the greatness of god because you can't say i'm giving him back because this is all what i have the sin of cain tukimletea kitu wacha tumletee kitu ambacho kinaonesha ukubwa wake ukuu wake and it is not just out of coercion because the bishop has said the pastor has said no it is because of who yes because of his preeminence he stands above all and above every other thing praise the name of the lord and therefore the last one the sacrifice of your purity praise the name of the lord so as you plan to thank god number one, sacrifice your person number two, the sacrifice of your praise number three, the sacrifice of your prayer number four, the sacrifice of your possession and then number five, the sacrifice of your purity praise the name of the lord and this is in psalm 51:17 and i'll read that in psalm 51:17 the bible says the sacrifices of god are broken spirit a broken and a contract art o oh god you will not despise praise the name of the lord the moment you bring your submission of a contract art brokenness submitting yourself and as we said earlier sacrifices should not be running away from the altar we should give ourselves totally when we submit our clean hearts our clean intentions our clean spirit meaning we have dealt with the grudge of sin then anything we give unto god will be acceptable and that's the sacrifice of purity praise the name of the lord the bible tells us over and over in the book of romans that it is in the goodness of god which leads us to repentance and not the badness of man it is out of good will ya mungu kwamba tukaokoka sio kwamba tulikuwa wabaya akaturumia it is out of his will and that's why when he calls a man a man answers tunaweza wahubilia lakini wakataye kuja mpaka mungu amuite bwana yesu asifiwe so it is out of his goodness that leads a man to repentance and therefore brothers and sisters we ought to bow down before god, our great god and say oh god in brokenness and humility i offer tears of repentance and sacrifice of thanksgiving to you god praise the name of the lord and by this means we will confess our every sin that has trained our purity and our relationship with god and therefore he has offered the best sacrifice for us and that's the sacrifice of his son jesus christ that we may be washed in his blood praise the name of the lord so as you plan to thank god this year as you plan to to bring your sacrifices unto the altar remember the sacrifice number one that will be required is a sacrifice of you as a person the sacrifice of your praise that he has given you continually daily your heart and mouth are set to give praise to god and then the sacrifice of your prayer number uh, and then the sacrifice of your possessions that is number four, and then sacrifice of your purity god is calling us to a holy walk with him bana yesu asifiwe in revelation in leviticus 22:29 and that that this is where historically uh, uh, the, the, the 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 sacrifice of thanksgiving has been greatly spoken about is that when you sacrifice a thank offering to the lord sacrifice it in such a way that it will be accepted on your behalf bana yesu asifiwe that is leviticus 22:29 And if you want to know about the the, the 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 sacrifice of thanksgiving is greatly demonstrated in Leviticus 7:12. But brothers and sisters I urge you as you bring your sacrifice to the altar a sacrifice of thanksgiving sacrifice it in such a way that it will be accepted on your behalf. It's very really, very simple. Every sacrifice you op- offer is simply giving back to God what he has already done for you. We give him what he first gave us and that is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes shall not perish but will have eternal life.
Therefore, as we offer our thanksgiving sacrifices, remember the sacrifice of love that God gave us first. So that you can offer your person, you can offer your praise, you can offer your possession, you can offer your, your purity and your possessions. And God is going to bless us all. We thank God because he has given us a chance to give back to him. Not out of our abundance, but because of the love that he demonstrated to us first. Therefore, in, in this Thanksgiving Sunday, prepare yourself. Prepare your possessions. Prepare your person to present yourself as a sacrifice of thanksgiving before the Lord. We thank God before that. May God bless you and shalom. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Thank you, Lord, because of the sacrifice that you gave for us on the cross. The sacrifice of love that we should not perish, O God, but have eternal life. Father, as we even prepare ourselves, O King of, of glory, to give our sacrifices this day. Father, we pray that they shall be a sweet suffering aroma before your presence and your throne, O God. That we will offer ourselves as a sacrifice of person, sacrifice of praise, of prayer, possession, and purity in our lives. We thank you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom and God bless you. <laughs>